This week, I want to show you not one, not two, not three, but four reasons why your fruit tree may not have produced fruit. Stay tuned. So I often get asked and talks and courses, oh, I got a fruit tree and it's not giving me any fruit. What's going on? What's wrong? Well, there's two main reasons why your fruit tree won't be giving you any fruit. The first one is it may not be old enough to flower. So I always say, well, is your tree flowering? You think, well, yeah, it's flowering. Okay. So at least we know it's old enough to produce fruit. The second one is how many fruit trees you have. You said, my fruit tree, I have a fruit tree. I have an apple tree or pear tree or plum tree, whatever. Your one fruit tree isn't giving you any fruit. Well, is your fruit tree all alone? Does it have a partner? Can it have fruit sex with another tree? I think, oh, that's crazy. Well, it needs to be pollinated by another fruit tree of the same species. So if I say, hey, I got an apple tree here. Well, if you only have one apple tree with one cultivar on it, and that's a whole different story, then it won't pollinate itself. So you think, well, if a bumblebee, I see the bumblebee and it's going from flower to flower. Right, but it's going from flower to flower on the same tree. So a bumblebee needs to go and, and fly. Oh, look here, this is a Spartan apple tree and it's flying from the Spartan apple tree and it goes to, oh, here's one. It's going to this one, which is a Fontenoise. And you think, well, what, that's two different kinds. That's correct. That's what it needs to do. So you need two different cultivars, or people say varieties, but you need two different trees of the same species so that you get successful pollination. Now you say, I have, I have a big, big property and I have two fruit trees on the same property, except one's way down there and the other one's way over there. So distance does matter because that one bee or the several bees that are pollinating have to go from your far tree to your other far tree. So distance matters and so Usually the rule is you want your trees to be about 300 meters or 300 yards away from each other. Otherwise they don't pollinate successfully. That bee, the chance of the bees finding that one tree and that other tree. So distance does matter. Remember 300 meters as a rule. If you have a yard, obviously having another tree, it could be not your tree, because people say, yeah, I only have one tree, but it produces well. Well, that just means that somebody in your neighborhood or near you has another one and the bees are finding that tree to your tree. So you need two different kind. You need to have them within about 300 yards of each other or 300 meters. And there's your, there's your, how many is that? So we said first one was you have to have a tree that's old enough. Second one, you have to have two trees of the same cultivar. No, you need two trees of different cultivars of the same species. Okay, so two apple trees of different kinds, of different varieties, of different cultivars. Warbling Vireo. And the last one, really important, Look, notice here, look at this. So where are all the bees? No bees around this morning. Well, there is a reason. It's early morning. The flowers are just 
basically waking up. You see, they haven't totally opened up yet. So early in the morning, the flowers are slowly uncurling. The temperature right now is 10 degrees Celsius or 50 Fahrenheit. A red fleshed crab apple called Mac Red. And the, the last important point is temperature is important. We've had really cool weather the last few days. And so a flower generally lasts about three days. So if this flower opens, here's a king, this is the king bloom. This one in the middle is the king. So these primary flowers are the first ones to flower and all the ones around it flower afterwards. So when a flower opens and it'll open for three or four days, but it's kind of open to be pollinated for three days. If it's too cold in those three days, it may not get pollinated. That's why the trees put their flowers not all in one basket. So they'll have the first one. That's not a good example. Here's a real good example of a king. So there was the king blossom, that first one, which is even losing its petals already. And then you have the other ones all around it. One, two, three, four, and there actually should have been five in the cluster. So five around the king, which is, makes for six flowers. And so that one is already finished. You see the color? That one hasn't been pollinated. And this one actually may not have mid-pollinated. I don't know if they've been pollinated or not. I know that this one is not as old as this one. It's apple. It's right, right now as peak apple blooms. And you see peak apple blooms. Here's pears. Look at already the pears have formed little pearlets. See, actually that's a lot of pollination for the pears. It was nicer weather for the pear pollination than the apples right now. We've had some, yesterday it was rainy and cool. We've had some cool weather. So temperature is important. It's important in that if it's too cold, the bees aren't flying. Eight degrees is the critical point. If it's eight degrees out, the bumblebees start to be active. So it's 10 degrees out now. The bumblebees are out, not out huge, but they're out. But at eight degrees, they only start. Bumblebees are bigger. They're able to get going earlier uh, and if the temperature today only reaches 10 degrees, then the bumblebees are the only ones that are really going to be active. It takes 12 degrees for honeybees and many or most native bees to be also active. So because these are much smaller bees, they're not able to get around and pollinate actively. When the temperature is too low, the honeybees stay in the hive and the native bees stay in the hive. When it's warm enough, everybody can be out. So at eight degrees, the bumblebees start. At 12 degrees, the honeybees and native bees start. And if it's warmer than 12, everybody's out, obviously. So temperature is another reason why you may not have gotten fruit. If it was too cold, usually it's cold and rainy during blossom time, then the bees aren't active and pollinating. It's not often that the weather isn't good enough for any fruit to be pollinated. That's, that really doesn't happen very often because just the sun coming out for an afternoon for a few hours, the bees are really eager to get out there. They'll get out there and pollinate. But that is a possibility in terms of reducing the amount of fruit. You say, I, I didn't get much fruit, I got some. Well, usually if you got some, maybe the temperature was too cold, wasn't warm enough for long enough for many of the flowers to be pollinated. So that's pretty well three reasons why you may not have gotten fruit. Maybe your tree wasn't old enough, maybe 
you only had one type of tree. Maybe if you had a second one, it was too far away. And the fourth one was, maybe the temperature was too cold and the bees weren't active when the trees were blooming. So that gives you your four reasons why your fruit tree didn't produce any fruit. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Bye. Thanks for watching. Intrigued? Check out the virtual tour of the permaculture orchard. Have trees already? Pruningcourse.com. Subscribe, please. Check out some of the other videos or playlists. There's more to come. Stay tuned. Bye. Usually it does, or it should. But hopes this help. Hope you.